Hello YouTube, Shiv here and today I'm going to teach you how to go from this to this on your own. So a lot of people have been asking me how to make, how to solve the cube and I always used to refer them to this PDF guide. It is available for free on rubix.com and uh, the link will be in the description. So basically in this video I'll be showing you how to follow along with this solution guide. So let's begin. So before you solve the cube, you need to know some definitions about the cube. Uh, Ruby's cube has three kinds of pieces and those are edge pieces, corner pieces and center pieces. So the edge pieces are the pieces with two colors. So let's see, this is a piece here. It has only two colors. If I just uh, go ahead and uh, remove this piece for you, you you'll see that I can't remove this. If I remove this piece for you, you'll see that this piece has only two colors. So every piece which has only two color is an edge piece. And every piece which has three color is a corner piece. So basically there are 12 edge pieces, 4 in this layer, 4 in the middle layer, and 4 in the last layer. So there are 12 edge pieces and 8 corner pieces in each corner. Corner pieces have three colors. And then there are 6 center pieces center pieces are the pieces in the center these pieces and one thing you need to know is that center pieces do not move see here they do not move and center pieces uh, using the center pieces you'll know which side will be which color okay so the opposite of a yellow center will be a white center opposite of a orange center will be a red center opposite of a green center will be a blue center and this does not change it will still be there no matter how much you scramble the cube for example this is a scrambled cube you can still see that opposite of a red is an orange opposite of a yellow is still a white opposite of a green is still a blue you get it okay let's move along now you need to know the cube notations so the cube has six sides right so when you solve the cube, you'll come across algorithms to achieve a particular thing, to solve a particular case. So I'll show you how to follow along with that. So saying, uh, let's, let's start from here. So if you hold a cube like this, this will be a right face, left face, up face, down face, front face, and the back face. Okay. So each move is 1 by 4th rotation of an axis if this is an axis and if this is one whole rotation 1 by 4th rotation is one move when you solve the cube okay and in this PDF guide uh, they give you proper directions and stuff uh, when they give you the algorithm okay this is very easy to follow let's go to the next step so now we can finally start solving the cube uh, let me first scramble the cube Uh, okay, this is a scrambled cube now. So let's start solving the cube. Uh, they're saying the first, uh, I mean, stage two, solve the white cross. What do they want us to do here? They want us to make a cross on the white side. And at the end, it should look like this. See, uh, if there is a white here and a blue here, then there should be blue here. So basically, um, you also need to know that every single piece in this cube is unique so no piece is repeated there's only one piece which has a white and a blue so like that there can only be four edge pieces in the cube which has white so you have to find those four edge pieces and bring them to their home a piece is said to be in its home when it's between its respective centers for example this is a white and blue piece it's in its home when it's between white and blue center simple right so you just have to bring four edge pieces to their home so and it will look something like this so you see that I've I made a cross here and I made sure that each edge piece is in its home a lot of people uh, struggle to make the white cross initially but I'll show you an easy way all you have to do is 
find those four edge pieces in this case there's one here there's one here there's one here there's one here just pick one of it I'll pick this one white and blue now I'll see where is uh, white or blue the blue is here and the white is here I mean the centers so this uh, this blue is close to the blue center so if I just rotate in this axis I can match the blue with blue then I can match the white with white by rotating like this next I'll find another piece in this case I, I see here white and orange and orange is close to this orange I can simply match it like this take it to the top and this go this got matched I take it to the top and one more like this uh, for the most part of it you have to figure it out on your own to make this white cross okay after this you'll be seeing algorithms but for the white cross you have to figure it out on your own you might sometimes uh, come across a case when uh, you're having it like this this white and green and uh, this is this is its home it just has to be flipped so you can follow this uh, you can do a r dash u uh, okay. you have to keep it like this you have to keep uh, you have to keep the piece that has to be flipped to your right and you have to do r dash u f dash u dash see r dash u let's see that again this this has to be flipped so i keep it on my right i do r dash u f dash u dash so that's that's how you basically make a white cross next let's uh, go to the next stage in this stage you're supposed to solve the white layer so then again I wanted to tell that you solve the cube layer by layer this method here is called layer by layer solution to solve the cube you're not solving it color by color you're solving it layer by layer okay so now we are going to solve the first layer to solve the four corners of this cube you can just hold the cube like this with the white center upwards and it doesn't matter which uh, face is uh, to your front just hold it like this and rotate your down layer and see if you can see any white pieces so I can uh, white corner pieces so I can see one white corner piece here see which is the adjacent color this is a white and green piece so just rotate this green piece until it's matching with the green center now it's matching with the green center and it's matching to this side if it's matching to this side you just have to just have to take it and do L D L dash okay L D L dash and there's another piece here white and red and it's again matching here you just have to do L D L dash okay and there's another piece here white and uh, blue and it matched here so if it's matched here you apply this algorithm R dash D dash R got matched and there's one last piece which will come here and that's over here so I can't do R dash D R dash and expect the white to come here why because that works only for that case I mean the white has to be in this axis if white is not in this axis you can't use that algorithm so what do we have to do now we have to bring this white to this axis so how do you do that you just rotate the down layer until this white piece which is pointing downwards is below an unsolved slot this place I call an unsolved slot because it's not white but all these other places we have solved it already and this is the only unsolved slot left so I'll bring this white directly below this unsolved slot then I'll do a R dash D2 R so what did that do that brought that white to this axis now since white is in this axis we can use our case so this is a white and red piece so I masked red with red diagonally and then r dash d r so practice this and learn to solve one layer on your own then we can move to the next step so I'll, I'll do all that again I'll solve the white cross 
and okay once the white cross is solved you just have to find you just have to keep the white on top and you have to find a white piece white corner piece in the bottom layer I found this one so it's a white and blue so I have to match blue with blue then I do R dash D R let's find another one I don't see any in this case so there might be one below aha this one here so I just bring it under an unsolved layer um, let's say this is an unsolved layer I do R dash D to R now it's in this layer so I match it like that that's done oh wait I don't see any more white pieces where are they if they are not in this layer they could be in this top layer itself so how do you bring a piece from top layer to this layer just let's see this one there's a white red and blue and I have to bring it to this layer I can do R dash D R now this white piece is in the bottom layer so this is a white and red piece I'll just take it match it diagonally with uh, this red and I do R dash D R I have one more piece here white and green match it with green L D L dash there you have it we have solved one layer successfully be sure to watch the next video uh, to see how to solve the middle layer thank you